Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff not the Mad Cheese has always got a Madden 21 video. I haven't really done a ton of Madden 21 content yet. There was a trailer that dropped recently, as well as some gameplay that's going to be hitting the uh, hitting the internet pretty soon. Uh, and I don't really need to see either one of them, to be honest with you, because it's already pretty evident uh, that this Madden 21 coming out is basically going to be the exact same game that Madden 20 was. Uh, maybe they're gonna, you know, tweak some of the. Uh, they're gonna tune it a little bit. Maybe the run game won't be as overpowered as man 20 was uh maybe they'll have some new animation stuff like that obviously we get a roster update like you always do so i'm going to jump ahead i don't need to wait for gameplay to come out i don't need to wait to see basically the same thing over and over and over again i'm going to make a list of 20 things that uh make the nfl great for whatever reason ea just can't seem to figure out and put in the madden 20. before i start the video though if you guys think of anything that i left out leave it in the comment section and if you want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section hit the like button i can definitely do them so i'm going to start off with the presentation of the game i know that the gameplay is, is i'm not going to touch on gameplay i could do that in another video but ultimately i'm just going to touch on you know the simulation aspect of this how much is ea simulating uh the nfl experience and some of the things that really make the NFL great. Uh, I'm going to start off with pregame shows. Now, I remember pregame shows in NFL 2K way back when. They had pregame shows, they had halftime shows, they had weekly highlights, all that stuff. None of that is in, is in Madden, and it's insane. If you're playing an offline franchise, wouldn't you like to see some of these things, that the same type of programs that you might follow when you follow the NFL on a day-to-day -day basis? I mean, pregame shows especially. You can have you know just a couple of minutes explaining some of the star players, some of the matchups, uh, things like that. I mean, that's something that, you know, it's just insane that there's nothing like that even in the offline version. Now, in the online version, most online players would probably just skip through this stuff. I know that I do if I accidentally you know go into a gameplay that's not an online and I have to sit through the coin toss I really can't stand it uh, I rather, I just want to get into the action so this is speaking more specifically to people that either play offline CFM or regular online CFM I think that those would be something that would really be uh, welcome additions uh, to make the experience more exciting the experience greater things like sports talk shows too, radio shows um, there's no reason that when you're in the menu screen on your on your CFM that you can't be hearing uh, some sports talk radio uh, about your team's performance the follow uh, the previous week or a big game you have coming up something like that some audio sound bites in the background rather than just a, a, an endless stream of different you know music that the uh, ea chose for the game i mean that's something that would definitely add uh, a little bit uh, a little bit to the experience I know sports talk shows in particular, after Sunday's done, I can't wait to hear what the big news story is on Monday, whether you listen to uh, you know, whoever your favorite talking head is, whatever your favorite sports talk show is. Even if they just sign a contract to do that with one specific show, like Stephen A. Smith or Skip Bayless or somebody like that, so that they could constantly use their likeness. I mean, once again, that's money that EA would have to shell out, which is probably one of the reasons that they don't do it. But having you know in a weekly uh, segment when you're going from week to week in a franchise where they have a sports talk person talking about either uh, your team or what's going on in the league, I think would be really cool. And they really just don't really seem to have any interest in that. Like I said, 2K used to have stuff like that. Uh, Madden, since they bought out the rights to uh, to you know to basically football, they haven't really touched on nothing like that. I think something like in-season highlights. Once you get through about maybe week eight, maybe they're gonna have a highlight reel. They could probably have a week-to-week -week highlight reel of the stuff going on around the league and who's having a big season and stuff like that. Uh, that would be something that would make a lot of sense that they really don't touch on things like you know. And this is something that I know EA probably wouldn't want to touch on, but. There's so many player stories throughout the year. There's so many incidents where players either get in trouble or uh, they, you know, they say something stupid, do something stupid. That stuff should be integrated in the game too. That adds depth to a game like this. If somebody's getting in trouble in the real world, it's definitely a talking point in all these shows, and it should be a part of the game in Madden. I know they don't want to necessarily have you know players getting arrested for DUIs and hitting their girlfriend and stuff like that in a game of Madden, and I understand that. But there's still player stories that you could add that would add some depth and character to the game like say you know a player gets a big endorsement or something throw stuff like that into the game and make it more realistic 
Now, I don't want to necessarily touch on gameplay because that could be an entirely different video. There's so many issues with gameplay. There's no way I could do all this in one video. But there are things that they could add to the gameplay to make it more realistic, make more realistic environments, which I think would make the game much better too. Things that they've taken away, like the coin toss, which I mentioned. Huddles, which I mentioned, which is kind of strange that they took that away. They need to add something back. They need to give a little bit more buffer time between when a play is called and when a play is run just because of adjustments to be made. Uh, I think it would benefit the gameplay once again which like I said I don't want to talk, talk about too much but there should be some sort of huddle uh, which is a, a huge part of football and it always has been so bring that back bring referees back I remember when referees used to get in the way you'd be throwing a football at your receiver and the receiver would bump into the referee and it would uh, you know create an incomplete pass you would get upset about it but ultimately you realize it's part of the game that sometimes referees can get in the way and that's all part of the experience referees I'm pretty sure in, in old games they used to go through the animation of going and getting the football and throwing it back uh, to the huddle. Things like that. Things you see on TV every time you watch a game. That really should be a part of the game. Things like cheerleaders. Cheering sections. It's not always, you know, they, every stadium has the, a different dynamic when it comes to, um, you know, the, 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 the cheerleader part of the crowd. I mean, having that on the sideline would be great. Having things like team mascots. I know personally that even going further than the actual mascots, every team has exotic fans that stand out to their fan base as much as the mascot. I mean, every single team in the league has, you know, the Vi I, I know when you watch Viking games, you got those guys with the horns out there. The Raiders have those guys, the black hole. You know what I mean? It's like every fan base has has a fanatic portion, portion of the fan base that would be awesome to see at some point inside the game. If I watch a football game on TV, I look forward to seeing the actual black hole fans. I mean, that's just a crazy part of the game. What, what if before the game started, when you're playing the Bills, you got the Bills Mafia d jumping through tables and stuff like that? How cool would that be? How much would that bring the game to life? You know what I mean? That's stuff that as an NFL fan, I look forward to seeing when I when I know these teams are coming up on the schedule. Th that's part of what makes the NFL so great is the, is the crazy fans. They need to add that. Every time you play a Madden game, you basically get the same carbon copy of fans. You don't even they don't even stand out in any way. But every time you watch an NFL game, they're always scanning through the crowd for the craziest looking fan because it's all part of the experience. Why doesn't EA get that? And to take it a step further from the crazy fans, every team, every home stadium has their own traditions. So, you know, if I if I'm playing in Seattle, they always have the guys he was ringing the bell, he's blowing the horn. I don't even really remember, but I'm not a Seattle fan, but I know that they do like the 12th man to start every game. Every team has has something to get the game, you know, get get him excited. I mean, back in the day, if if you were playing the Ravens, you should see Ray Lewis coming out of the tunnel doing his crazy dance. Or the Eagles back in the day when Brian Dawkins would come out stomping on the ground, like that's part of the tradition of that team. And if I go and I play somebody in any one of these stadiums, I should see that every time to know where I'm at. I mean, that's what makes you know these 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 stadiums special as much as anything else, and these fan bases are special, and it should be a part of the game. And aside from the actual game gameplay itself I feel like they're missing a lot of opportunity there's a lot of really big events throughout the calendar year when it comes to the NFL that really don't get any justice when it comes to EA things like the combine which I know that you know they, they added certain things to that here and there throughout their history uh, things like the Pro Bowl which they really don't seem to do too much but not just the Pro Bowl as much as Pro Bowl events I know the QB skills challenge they do every year they always have like legends playing uh, you know like like uh, flag football and stuff I mean every year there's events that go along with the Pro Bowl that aren't part of the Pro Bowl necessarily but it's it's a celebration it'd be cool to see some events like that they actually had a QB skills challenge game back in the day so I'm sure it wouldn't be too hard to integrate some mini games into the Pro Bowl um, so that you can actually, you know, kind of feel festive about the season. I don't know. I think that would be really cool. Uh, they could give out more awards, like the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award is always a big award every season in the NFL. It'd be nice to see them hand that out and actually keep track of these awards, too. They don't really keep track of the awards really well from year to year. They don't even keep track of who won the Super Bowl and stuff like that from year to year if you if you actually play franchise and you uh, simulate it out so many years, which is kind of crazy. Uh, the owners' meetings. You should get some, you know, up if there's some rule changes that are being talked about in the owners meeting, stuff like that. 
Another thing that I think would be really cool is, you know, when training camp starts, you're always looking for your favorite sideline reporter, or beat reporter to tweet out about players. Uh, say you have some young players that, you know, you're not too sure about, but all of a sudden you're seeing like, you know, reports that they're having a really strong training camp or something like that. and would indicate for you to play that player in the following season, maybe a little bit more than you might have thought. You know, things like that. These are all things that can really get creative. And they're also a really important part of the NFL experience that I think EA could really benefit uh, from adding to uh, to this game. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you want to see one about just the gameplay, a full video like this about the things that they could change in the gameplay, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button. If you felt like I left anything out, let me know in the comment section as well. Maybe EA will see this video and get some ideas. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.